Hey guys, happy Splasher here. Good evening. So right now I'm going to continue with the world event. So yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, just before we start though, I know that there were some changes since the last time we did a world event. So some of the videos might be a little more chopped up than usual because of needing to get different resources, hopping back around, things like that. Uh, so yeah, so just be please be patient and we will do what we can as we try to get through this world event. Remember, we're all in this together. So yeah, so we're on this quest right now. So defeat Fire Mage. Okay, we'll let the go. And looks like they have a skill. So whenever an ally dies, we'll give Splash to allies. Nice. Ha ha ha. Fire shall rise. Don't burn yourself. Yeah. Man, that's corny. Cool. All right, so let's take a look at some of the heroes that we got. This one here has an attack boost, some vampirism. We got a couple of buildings here. Seeing if there's anything to worry about. Doesn't look like it. All right, I'm just going to change this here as well. Looks like we do have an open lane A, so we're just going to summon this hero to attack. And, well, there you go. That was Fire Mage. We'll head back to the roadmap, get our stuff. Okay, we have the next quest over here, so activate Epic Obelisk in Place of Power three times. We'll head over to the Place of Power. And then, as you'll see here, we did increase our level for the Obelisk, which is nice. We'll get some more rewards. So now we'll open three of these Epic Obelisks, totaling to 3,000. And Epic. hopefully we get some bonus runes in the meantime. Epic! Okay, nothing, nothing. Epic! And nothing. Okay. But we are complete with the quest, so that's good. We'll head back out. Go to the roadmap. And get our rewards. Okay, we have the next set of quests we have up top. We have Activate Guild Bonus five times. Behind that, we have Find 900 Souls of Epic Heroes. On the bottom here, we have Summon Demigods, Gods of War, or Miracle Summon five times. Okay, so this is new. You're allowed to do Miracle Summons in order to get that done. Going to save our scrolls for Chapter 3 because we are still looking to complete a world event. <clears throat> excuse me, while all of this new changes are still happening. So we'll do this top quest first and then we'll go from there. So here, activate guild bonus five times. We'll hit the go. And it looks like we're in the guild bonus section. So we'll just need to activate any five. See what are going to make sense. We'll activate this boost one over here for a day because there is at least one quest that needs a boost. Activate this one here where we'll need to level up. Speed up some chests. Uh, I guess we could actually just speed up some more chests because we are going to need to open up some more chests during this world event. So we'll just get that done now. And it looks like we did activate our five. So we will first skip the ad and then we'll claim our reward. Okay, the next quest here is to find 900 souls of epic heroes. What we can do is we'll hit the go, see where we land. And in this case, now we're actually back in the summon hall. What I'm going to do is actually go back out and then go to the squad and the reason why is because the finding actually does count if you do evolve so say for example we go to any rare and then we do a little bit of evolving we'll just show you here okay so it does count but instead i'm going to use our chest from the mighty pass because those are going to expire soon and then we'll just open up some epics and actually because we do have double copies of the event hero from there we are now complete with that quest so we'll head back out Go to roadmap and then let's see if we want to do this one. Nope, we're going to save our scrolls. So in this case, we'll just claim our rewards and move on. Okay, the next quest here is defeat revolutionary. Okay, and they do have a skill. So whenever nature enemy appears, enemy being us, we'll take a little bit of damage. Viva la revolution! We are workers and we will take power into our own hands. Workers overthrowing kings? Don't make me laugh. That's impossible. Wow. <laughs> they really hate workers here, man. All right, so we do have this Bone Master here with a little bit of heal. Just taking a look at some of these buildings once again, as we usually do. And we do have an open lane A, so might as well summon there. And clear them out. So that was the Revolutionary. So much for that. We'll head back to the roadmap and move on. Okay, it looks like we have a quest complete already. Let's go check out the other quests here. So on top, we have Soulbind, the event rares five times. Behind that, we have Boost Legendary Heroes four times. And then on the bottom here, we have Find 1400 Souls of Engineer, Evil Slayer, or Flame Juggler. Those are the event epics. So 
This time we should be able to get all three, so let us try that. So the first quest here, so soul buying the any of the event rares five times. We do have this done already, and that's because we do have these heroes from before. And soul binding is just a little bit of dust needed after you click on those heroes. So we'll just claim those and then move on. Okay, so we have this next quest over here, boost legendary heroes four times. We did activate that guild bonus in order to lower the cost of boosting. So we'll hit the go and see where we land. Looks like we're back at our squad. I'm going to filter for our legendaries because they are actually part of our favorites. And then we will just boost a couple of them. So let's boost the lower level ones. And as you see, the cost does go up a little bit. So instead, just gonna keep moving on, see if we can find some lower level ones. Yeah, 107, that's fine. Most of our legendaries are at level 16. So we'll do that. I think we have one more. Yeah, this one here should be relatively low. We'll do that. And well, we are now done. I do know too that if you actually do boost one of the event legendaries, you can see a lower cost. So for example, we can filter for the order ones. And so like the Mina Helsing at level 16, as you can see the cost is lower, even though it is at level 16, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But we will need to also stop boosting those heroes for later because we will need more dust. And so yeah. So let's go and try and do the other quest down here. So this one find 1400 souls of the event epics. I'm going to hit the go. And this brings us back once again to the summon hall, which we don't want. I'm gonna go over to the mighty pass and see if we can actually open up some more of these epics. Okay, so not quite. Oh, got an in-game ad over there. Kind of close to another epic chest. So what I'm going to do is actually claim our rewards from the daily quest and weekly quest. This will allow us to get some more points for the Mighty Pass. And might potentially finish that quest. If not, we can also just evolve the heroes as shown from the previous quests. So right now, like I said, just getting those points for the Mighty Pass. Couple more. Okay. <laughs> if there was some way to auto claim, that would be good. But I think this was kept in because we can use certain chests in order to get rewards. So that's why we do have that option. You see it did fill up a little bit, so that's good. Ooh, we do have one legendary chest, which is very nice. Going to open up this epic chest. Okay, and we also didn't get it, but that is okay. Let me see actually how far we are from this. This one here. Hmm, I really do want this second legendary chest. Uh, we have two more days, so could potentially do it. Okay, so we will, I guess we'll go to the squad and then just do some evolve from rares to epics. So what I'm going to do is actually filter for our building over here because I do know that we can get some epics oh you know what i'm not even you know i i totally messed that up we're trying to get the epics of the event heroes <laughs> so in this case let's see so we have filtering for rare and order and we have the oh we have the mina helsing hero so we can just evolve here and as you see we are now complete with that quest so yeah we will now head back to the roadmap then get our rewards Okay, the next quest here is Defeat Monster Hunter. And looks like they have a skill, so whenever one of the allies are attacked, they will deal damage to our Warlord. You need to leave this place before it all goes down in flames. Not until I find the king. Okay, the hard way. Alright, so let's go take a look at our buildings once again. We have some buildings that deal damage to us and our heroes. We have some spikes, got some negative attack, also negative attack. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm gonna go with this Masura over here on E3. It'll allow us to get some copies. Also, we start clearing out some of those buildings. And we'll have some multiple attackers on board. Okay, I'm gonna go with this Grace over here on A3. That should actually be enough for lethal because of the open night. And, well, there you go. And that was Monster Hunter. Okay, heading back to the roadmap. Gaming rewards. Okay, skipping the ad. All right, so we have our next set of quests here. We have up top, we have spend 30, oh, I was gonna say 30, 1300 copper coins is last time. With the new upgrades, it's now 1700. So spend 1700 copper coins. Behind that, we have soul bind the event epics five times. And then on the bottom here, we have spend 7,500 runes. 
So I do know that from last time, we do need to spend some more runes for later. So we're actually going to avoid this bottom quest. Again, we're getting another phone call. Not sure why. Uh, oh, you know what? I have to probably answer that very soon. So uh, we're going to do the top quest and see if we can get through here. So this quest up top, spend 1,700 copper coins. We'll hit the go. And at this point, we have enough copper coins. It's just a matter of what we're spending them on. So I think we're going to spend them here on this Chernomore. Because that will actually put us over the top. And yeah, well, so we're done with that. So we'll claim. We were in the black market, by the way. So that is where we, we were sent. Okay, we have the next quest over here. Soulbind the event epics five times. As you can see, it is already complete. It is similar to the other Soulbind quest we had for the rares. So we'll just claim those and move on. Okay, the next quest here is defeat Pyro. Okay, and they do have a skill. So whenever an ally dies, we'll give splash to allies. Run! Run, you vermin! Your king commands you! What did you say? What's that supposed to mean? Whoa! Okay, they got this Keeper of the Storm over here with a little bit of damage, also has a metal shield. We got some buildings on their side. Nothing too much to worry about. Gonna go with this York over here on D1, destroying the building, getting an attack boost, and there we go for lethal. So that was Pyro. We'll head back to the roadmap, claim the wards. Okay, looks like we have another quest complete. Let's go check out what these other quests are. So up top, we have spend 700 gems. Behind that, we have reborn the event epics five times. And then on the bottom, we have level up the event epics to level 16. I do remember that from the last time we did the world event with the new changes, we do need gems because we need to open up some chests. So we're actually going to skip these top quests because, again, we don't want to spend the gems uh, for this chapter. So in this case, we'll just claim the reward here for the level up the event epics to level 16. Okay, we have the next quest over here. So get two legendary heroes in summons or in chests. Gonna hit the go and see where we land. Okay, we do have the option of waiting in order to get these two legendary chests for the season rewards. Uh, so that is an option. Could actually see, I'm gonna go check out the Mighty Pass. I do know that we are a little closer to it. We do have at least one legendary chest here and could potentially get this second one as well. I just wanna see how many, oh, let's find out. Three, four. Oh, you have to spend 2,400 gems in order to get that done. I do wonder if there is that chest in the summon hall that we do have. We also do have this summon for the free demigod, so that could potentially open it up. So, you know what? We will do this. We will open up this free one and see if we can get a legendary chest first. Epic! Okay, not quite what we're looking for. That's okay. I'm going to open up this reward over here in the progress rewards and see if that actually counts as a legendary chest. Okay, and going back, does not look like it because I didn't see the notification. And it looks like it didn't count over there. So I guess we'll have to wait and hold off until we get some more points for the Mighty Pass uh, because we do actually have one legendary chest available. As you can see right over here. Um, yeah, I guess so. Oops, I'm not going to be buying any levels for a little bit. And also as well, they did make a change in the pit now. So these rewards here in the dark tower, they actually do count as chests, but in the rewards here for the pit, it actually doesn't count as a chest. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, let me see, maybe even in the event center, does this count as a summon? I do know that they they did change some of the rewards and you know, I will cover them once I do have enough coins. I'm a little short right now. So I guess I'll, I'll have to check back in and see if those will count as rewards. So yeah, I guess we'll hold off for now and we'll actually revisit chapter two and see if we can get further in. So yeah, we will see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off. All right, guys. Hey, we, hey guys. <laughs> happy Splasher here, good evening. Uh, so right now we're going to continue with the world event. As mentioned from before, we are currently still in chapter two and we are running quite low on time. If we actually head back to the roadmap, you'll see we have roughly about two days. Might be able to get this done. We just need uh, some good RNG towards the end. We're currently on this quest right here to get legendary heroes in summons or in chests. We did open up one legendary chest because of the Mighty Pass. Unfortunately, I was not able to get a second legendary chest out of the Mighty Pass, but I did see something as part of the League. So we'll head back out of the League. Uh, we'll head back out the roadmap rather and go over to the League. And as you can see, the season has ended. 
So because of that, we get some rewards. And as you can see, we were in League 1. As a result of ending in League 1, we do get two Legendary Chests. And as you can see, it also does count for our quest. So we are now complete. Ooh, you know what? I forgot to change a couple things. All right. So as you can see, we are complete. We do have these two chests. Let me change some stuff here. Also, we are back in League 1 as well. Okay. So let me close that out. Okay. Just make a couple changes. Okay. Turn off the music there. Okay. And we'll head back to the roadmap to continue on. So we'll claim the reward. Okay, let's get the ad. Okay, the final quest over here is defeat gear. And so we will go fight gear. It looks like they have a couple of skills. So whenever a nature enemy appears, they will take damage, uh, enemies being us. And every second turn, we'll summon a mini Tesla X on a random rain cell. We'll stick around for a little bit and show what the mini Tesla X does, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. So yeah, let's uh, go right in. Nice. Death to the king. Death to the king. Do you have any idea how to run a state? We'll find the one who does. Touche. Okay, so we have the Lady Snow over here freezing our Chaos heroes when they come into play. Also deal some damage to Frozen. Just take a look at some of the buildings. So we got some health, damage, more health. Okay, uh, like I said, we are going to stick around. So what we're going to do is we'll actually summon this range hero over here on... You know, we'll, summon this, you know, we'll summon this melee hero over here on A3 just to clear this out. Okay, and it looks like the te the mini Tesla X is coming to play, so let's take a look at that. So whenever any hero dies, we'll deal his damage to our Warlord, and also at the beginning of the turn, we'll give an attack boost to the enemies. I'm going to go with this range hero next. Let's actually, you know, we'll go with some poison off of our Spider Queen, and then summon the Discordia over here on A2. And then we have that extra attack rune. Uh, this king of yours, I thought you should know that something's very wrong with him. If something's wrong with him, I will deal with it. Nice. So that was gear right there. Okay, we'll head back to the roadmap, and we are now complete with chapter two. So here's the biography card, High Tinker Gear. In his youth, Gear was trying to gain entry into the Elven Academy of Magic. However, he was rejected for a very stupid reason, for being short. Gear wanted to prove his own excellency and began exploring mechanisms. Soon, the Academy of Magic was forced to defend themselves against a 65 feet tall giant robot. To withstand the threat, the elves had no other choice but to make peace with Gear, proclaiming him to uh, an honorary member of the Academy. But Gear didn't care about it any longer. He dedicated his life to other things, for example, building the perpetual motion machine. And in order to create one, Gear was ready to do anything. I haven't seen any robots that we've faced in. Don't know if there's an actual there no actually there's no robot here so far but anyway so we will claim the rewards and well we are now in chapter three so chapter three monster king ludwig king of danzig is not as simple as i thought we need to find a way to protect him from the huntress or the kingdom is doomed okay so here are the rewards for chapter three we'll get 1k of the strick we'll get some demigod scrolls some more medals actually for completing this and then another biography card is mentioned so yeah well let's hop right in then also as you see here in the history we do have our final boss shown here so this is the strick so we will need to get some copies of strick in order to get well more copies of strick okay well normally we would continue on with here we do have some attempts right now just because of the order that we have done this in so just take a look and see we are going to face mercenary very soon but as for now we're just going to wait until we have some more attempts we are also running a little short on runes so we'll have to catch up on that so yeah so we will end it there and we will come back for chapter three see you guys later this is happy splasher signing off